I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We're at the New York Amp Show at the East Amplification booth. We just heard from Alan Scott on guitar. Alan sounded great. We're going to talk to Jeff Bober, founder of East Amplification, here about his new amp, the Theater 30. Jeff, how's it going? Fantastic, man. How you doing, Sean? Great. Great. That sounds awesome. You want to tell us about the unique stuff going on here? Sure, man. It's, uh, it's my new... Um newest model the theater 30 it's 30 watts 4 el 84s and um i don't like to say it's channel switching it's just it's mode switching because it was switching an extra gain stage for uh for your solos or uh, it's actually very controllable with a guitar even with the gain stage in so there's different degrees of gain that are available from the amp uh it's also it can be very chimey it's grindy i mean we've had guys come in all weekend and play everything from jazz to to you know drop d hardcore stuff and it's it's really fared well in all the genres that people have put this amp through this week so i'm, I'm really really happy with it and it's coupled with my new 1210 speaker cabinet 210s 212s uh in a x position half open half closed the, the bottom is closed back the top is open back and it's loaded with my new east amplification reference 10 and reference 12 speakers and uh, i'm just really really happy with the whole package a really cool array in the cabinet that you're describing um what are those speakers based on anything in particular or did you just what were you going after when you had those made what i was going after is um it goes back to when i first started east and uh, the first amp i did was the studio 2 which was a you know a, a full featured two watt amp and i tried to pair that with a speaker that had the flattest mid frequency because I didn't want the amp to be limited by a particular characteristic of a speaker. I wanted something, uh, I wanted the speaker that would represent the amp and, and all it could do. I originally started using um, a Raging Cajun mm -hmm. in the amp and I decided that uh, maybe I could do something proprietarily even a little bit better than that, so I worked. Um, I worked on the speaker for probably maybe half a dozen prototypes or so and came up with a speaker that I liked even better than that. And when I was going to do 12s, I looked around and there was no speaker that was even similar to the Raging Cajun with those qualities where you know the, the midsection is very flat because of most of the speakers, th there's, there's a signature mid peak somewhere in the speaker, you know, Celestian, different Celestians sound like Celestians because of these mid peaks, and Jensen's sound like Jensen's. I wanted something in a 12 that would be very similar to the 10 that I had developed, so uh, I worked on the 12 and developed the 12, and now I have the reference 10 and reference 12 that I'm really happy with because they really, they let the amps sound like what the amps do, and they, they work really well for, um, as evidence this weekend, for all different kinds of yeah, music. That's that's got to be a big part of the reason why so many different styles sounded good through it, right? I, I think so. I think so. I, you know, because some some speakers that are voiced a certain way are good for a certain music and not others. And this just seems to handle all the different styles very well. So I'm, I'm really happy with the outcome. Cool. Now, you mentioned earlier that there's an additional gain stage that can be brought in. Is that foot switchable? That's what the foot switch down here is? Yeah, it is foot switchable, and it actually doesn't bring in an extra gain stage. It's like all my, uh, it, well, not all, because the Studio 2 is not like that, but the 18 has a foot switchable gain control as well, and it doesn't actually bring in a stage, um, because a lot of times it, when you bring in another stage, st it changes the, the tonal characteristic of the amp. This actually just lets you access more of the stage that's already there. So in, in its unswitched mode, it's uh, the gain level is kind of preset, and then when you hit the the foot switch, it actually gives you a variable control to bring in a lot more of that stage that's already there. So it's it's more linear. Okay. Now, can you give us a rundown on the front panel controls? Well, sure. Here, um, scribbled in Sharpie on the prototype uh, faceplate is uh, master volume. This is a timber control, and what this does, this actually brings in more fullness in the amp and uh, if this if this particular amp was in a combo form and you were in a, a smaller room or something and you needed the amp to sound a little bigger you just bring in uh, a little more timber and it just fattens up the whole it, it makes the amp more round and full sounding so that would work well with the various smaller cabinets like we had a 112 or 212 or whatever no absolutely it would work uh, better with smaller cabinets and probably also with um 
thinner guitars, you know, yeah. a, a Strat as opposed to a Les Paul, something like that. So that, that's, uh, and it's, it's, it's a really great feature to have on the amp. Um, you know, your typical uh, bass, middle, treble, uh, volume, which is, you know, between the volume and the master, it's your typical master volume setup that you would have on an amp. And then the foot switch brings in the additional gain control, so it allows you to, to saturate the front end even more. All right, Jeff, so thanks for telling us about the features of it. L why don't we hear some of those different features in action, different tones from Alan? Cool. Sure, absolutely. Uh, we'll start with something that's nice and uh, clean and jangly and chimey, you know, because everybody knows, um, everybody thinks 84s, they think, you know, clean, AC30 kind of chimey, kind of sparkly thing. So we'll start there first, but it's not a one trick pony. Okay. Let's go for something a little more uh, gritty. gain control and uh, take it over the top. Alan. So Jeff, where can people go to find out more about this online? Uh, www.eastamplification.com or um, also hit the East Amplification Facebook page. You know, shoot me a, shoot me a message, I'll get right back to you and uh, we'll talk about your amp, your next amp. Cool, thanks. And of course, check out Jeff's monthly column in Premier Guitar and on premierguitar.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Sean Hammond.